Okay, today I'm going to show you how to uh, drain all the oil out of your diff and then fill it up again. So the first step is to remove the drain bolt out of the bottom of your diff. Now, on this particular model, it just comes out with a normal socket end, the uh, square end on your socket. Now, you should use a breaker bar for this because it will be on freaking tight. Um, now, I don't have an actual breaker bar with me, so what I'm just going to do is put a piece of pipe on the end to extend the pivot arm, and you can just see it breaks like that. Now, just remove that bolt and make sure you have some sort of bucket handy to catch the remains. Now, the first part, you want to get a little cup like this just to inspect the oil and make sure there's no shavings of metal in it or anything like that because if there is, it means there's other problems in your diff. So, you want to take a little sample of the oil and then put the remainders in the big bucket. Now this is a pretty messy job, so try not to get your hands dirty, but it's easier said than done. Now just leave this aside, just to uh, for all the metal shavings to fall out if there is any, and then you can see if there's any impurities or any other problems that could happen in your diff. And yeah. Now, the drain plug on your diff has actually a little magnet on the end which picks up any metal particles or any other things in your diff. So, hopefully you can see this guys. If you put it into the sun a little bit you can probably see it a bit better, but there is actually metal shavings on the end of the diff plug, drain plug. So, yeah, that's not too good. That's bad. <laughs> yeah. So there obviously is some sort of problem happening now because this was running with low oil for quite some time it could just be due to that um, things you know wearing faster than they should be because of lack of oil um, hopefully when we fill up with new oil it it survives uh, another couple of years but um yeah that's that's not a good sign so that's what you want to look out for metal shavings are bad Okay, what you want to do now is just clean um, the bolts. Now, we just clean this in the parts washer, but if you don't have one of those, you can just use degreaser or I don't know, anything really. Um, diesel or kerosene will probably work as well. Um, that just cleans it up so when you reinspect it later on, you can see if there's any more build up um, with the new diff oil in there. I mean, this car's done 100,000 kilometers, so, and a lot of uh, thrashing, <laughs> so a little bit of uh, metal shavings hopefully isn't too bad, but, I mean, it's, it is a bit of a concern, so cleaning the plug, then rechecking it, you can see if it's um, had any more shavings, uh, anything else is wearing, so you can sort of see how fast it is wearing and if you need to do any more things after that. Okay, on the limited slip gear oil you would get from the store, it has a specific uh, function. You don't actually need a funnel to fill up your diff. So it's a bit confusing because they only include one picture on the bottle. So we're just going to explain it to you. So what you have to do is you have to pull up these. Oh, I'm just get a better light. You have to pull up these little things here. So it's like that. Sort of like so. Once you have that, you just have to pull it, and that is joined onto there like so. Now just pull the top off, and it comes out with it. You have to pull pretty hard, and it's just the tube, and then you can fill up your diff like so. Because the actual fill hole is in a bit of a weird spot, um, 
you can't really get a funnel in there without making a sort of adapter for it so this is why they include this on the bottle okay once you fill it up with the new oil just put your plug back in and you're done now it does take quite a while to put the new diff oil in it it'll probably take about 10 minutes or so just holding it so yeah just take it's a bit of a boring process but you'll get there eventually so yeah that's how you change the oil in your rear differential or any differential really see you later